Hi, Brandy. How are you doing today? Hey, Steve. This is... Um, Steve. I got your name right, right? That's right. New Year's Eve. 2019. Tomorrow is going to be 2020. Right. Actually, less than 24 hours from now. So, we met yesterday. It was a rather, I think, um, auspicious meeting. It was wonderful. So, um, so you've been in the city for about 10 years, you say? Yeah. And this is more or less your neighborhood. Yeah. You've oh, been this right is definitely my neighborhood. Yeah. And. Um, you're quite a musician. You, I think you're a very inspired musician. I'm How decent. long have you been playing? Oh, since I was about five. Okay, did you take formal my lessons? No, no, my father uh, played piano. And he used to sit me between his legs. Okay. He played Ray Charles. Okay. So he, he, he knew those little, uh, what's it called? Those little riffs on the right hand. Uh-huh. And he used to put me between his legs. And we'd just sit right there. Ray Charles. And this was in Houston? Oh, uh, that was in Atlanta. In Atlanta, that's, are you originally from Atlanta? I was born in Atlanta. Okay. And my parents got divorced when I was two. So they split up and then my mom went to Houston to follow my grandmother. She followed her own path down to Texas by herself. Okay. My grandmother was amazing. And she just did that on her own. Yeah. And so my mother followed her, but I kept in uh, contact with my father. And uh, uh, was your dad a professional musician? No, not he a just professional. Did, a, did he? But he, he played. Did he play? He a just little, played. He just played. He just played. He just knew how to play. He just knew how to play. He never played like I do. He never played like for uh, money. Um, but did he play in like parties and stuff? No, nah. just played at home. I don't know. Yeah, he just did it by himself. He just, and then he stopped doing it, which sucked, unfortunately for him. He passed away recently. He passed oh, away sorry. about two months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, he, he, he moved to Spain and he, he was in Madrid and that's a whole nother story, but. Uh, yeah, so your story is you had, so you've primarily been a keyboard player. Do you play other instruments? I play guitar and violin. Oh, okay. So Harmonica. You're, you're pretty well rounded. Do you read music? No. Okay, everything's by ear. Yeah. Um, so you told me yesterday that you started playing in bands when you were about 15? Yeah, at least that young. Uh, yeah, about 15. What kind of bands were you in? Oh, what rock you, and roll, Led Zeppelin. What did you play? You played, played Led Zeppelin. Okay. What else was there? You, do, there was you, nothing else. Where did you play? In we played parties? all Led Zeppelin. Did you play parties or just the garage? We played neither one of those. We just played uh, high school uh, situations. Because the high school that I went to in Pasadena, outside of Houston, uh, would allow us to have a talent show every year. And so you'd have 500 people you got yeah. a 500 people audience. All right. So you walk out there, you'd be a rock star. It was real easy. I did it several. I did it several years. That's great. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It was beautiful. And we either played. I was always Led Zeppelin, but also played some Heart Barracuda. Okay. Because I had a friend, a girlfriend that was a singer. All right. And she she was a wonderful singer, and uh, she did that. She nailed it down. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I need to get a sip of beer. All right. So All right, then. This, um, the piece that we captured you doing, yes, Wild West. What is Wild, it? Wild Western Winds. Okay. Wild now, Western Winds, as I'm calling it. And you've been, this is something that you say you, you, you do often, and it's one of your set pieces. Well, that's my main piece. That's your main piece. I got about 10. 12 songs. How has this piece evolved over the years? Well, that's going to be the last piece on the album. Okay. And I'm making an album. I already talked to uh, Pamela Parker at okay. High Street Records. Okay. And so is it all going to be uh, keyboard? I don't piano? know. I don't know if we're going to actually get it. No, it's going to be just raw piano and my oh. voice. Well, that's the great thing. It's going to be raw mm -hmm. piano. And what I heard, and what are... Tell me about the piano you're playing that you have here in your van. This one right here? Yeah. Well, this one 
particularly because I've had uh, now I, I, I've been out here about four years. Right. I've been living here for ten years, but as far as playing, I've been out here for about four. And I had a smaller van, and I had a couple other uprights. So this particular piano uh, came from a fellow named Tom, and uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful man. Donated four hundred dollars to find me a nice piano and to get some guys to move it in here. Okay. Wonderful friend of mine. Yeah. I'm, I'll just call him Tom. Yeah. So um, I really liked what I what I heard. There was a when I played it for Christy yesterday. She goes, "Have you ever seen the movie Carnival of Souls?" Man, I think I saw it a long time ago, but I don't recall okay. it very so well. So basically, as this woman is going for an a interview at a job as a church organist. Yeah. Along the way, she goes off a bridge, and this is all in Kansas. She dies, but she doesn't die, and she continues in the spirit world. And she plays a really haunting, and of course it becomes very, once she's gone to the other side, she no longer plays music that they find appropriate in a, in a sanctified environment. So it's very haunted music. Yeah. And Chrissy says, you know, this, this music that Brandy is playing has a very haunted quality about it because she could hear it coming out of the little yeah. speaker. And I really like the fact that it's just like, there's, a, I heard a couple like really flat notes, like the piano is a little bit out of tune. Yeah. But that's really adds to the charm. And you know what the great thing about the van is? The acoustics in it because it's it's a chamber. Yeah. It has really good room tone. Yeah. It has, you know, the funny thing was when because your attack is very strong. You know, your approach to uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm very hard. Yeah. I break strings. Yeah. I just had uh, my tuner, which I'll call her my tuner because we're going to have a long association. Allison Sailor right down here. If you ever need a piano tuner, Allison. Yeah. And I like having a woman piano tuner. And she, uh, she came in and did the piano uh, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And she was like, well, you broke the E string and the S string on the bass. And she goes, nobody does that. Yeah. <laughs> she said, nobody breaks those strings. What, you must play so hard. I'm like, I don't know. I play, I play piano like a guitar. I don't, I don't see the piano as a piano. I see the piano as a guitar. Okay. That's exactly how I see the piano, as a guitar. So do you, um, what are some of your influences? What are things that, you, that throughout your life you've kind sure. of gone back to and you take a lot of uh, inspiration, it gives your soul nutrition, and you look to it, it's like, this is what I'm, uh, this is what I aspire to, or are you completely... I don't aspire to nothing. Yeah? I don't aspire to nothing. I'm just gonna be one day at a time. I mean, if if actually we live through the next day right here now, I'll be your lucky man. And that is not, I'm not, no. I quit having those ideas. Okay. But as far as what I grew up with is all the 60s and 70s music of all the things Everything. we can talk about. But, all right, fair enough. No, I don't inspire. Well, that's, that's I quit doing that. That's a that's a real practical approach. You see, if you don't inspire, you don't, you're not disappointed when you don't reach those aspirations. I'm just hanging loose, man. And I realized also to quit bugging women, and all of a sudden I got a cute little girlfriend hangs out with me. Okay. Because I leave her alone. Yeah. So, anything else you want to add to, uh, as far as your things that you want to say that tell me well, about? Well, probably, why don't you put it on pause? Put it on, put, put, put it on pause. Because it's yellow, and that's what matters. It's, right. it's coating yellow, so we're going to be fine. And plus, 
The police around here are pretty nice to me. Okay. I can never call them rude. Okay. Never. And my many years out here, I would never be rude to the police department. That's right. Because they've been they've been very nice to me. That's good. You know, putting up with me drinking and playing. All right. That's a true story. You do whatever you want. Pardon me. That's <laughs> no problem. Pardon me. And you might want to swing around and look at Janice pointing at us. Just for a moment. Okay. Very good. All right. All right, here we go. Just, well, I got my can out there. All right. So, let's just see what happens. All right. That's how I live every day. She's about awesome. 
she's about as strong as a woman could ever be. All right. Okay, we'll do Wild Western win. <sighs> Don't wanna fuck it up. Nah, no good. Give me okay. a moment. Okay. We're okay. Can keep it going. I ain't got no problem with that. All right. Uh. -uh. Let's just think. Is that where we're gonna go? Okay. Let me get. Let me get. I don't think I'm doing what, what you need to do. If anyone can draw me a dollar for a beer, it'd be good. But we're gonna we're going with this song.
business either. <laughs> and that's how it ends. <laughs>